Here are some incredible reasons why Biden's foreign affairs are just so bad. Let's take it away, Jesse. In a memo to staff, he cautioned against using gendered language. The list of do not use phrases include manpower. You guys, ladies and gentlemen, mother, father, son, stepdaughter, and husband, wife. <laughs> he also warned staff against pressuring coworkers to share their pronouns, which can include Z and Zer. In a memo to staff, he... Oh, freaking mother, father, dude. Freaking mother, father. Many people don't know who uh, Anthony Blinken is, and many people don't know what a secretary of state actually does. So I pulled it up on the official website. The secretary of state appointed by the president with the advice and consent. Consent is a big word in today's culture. I give you consent. Um, is this chief's... President Chief's Foreign Affairs Advisor. Huh. Foreign Affairs. This doesn't seem very foreign. Does sound like we're having an affair. The Secretary carries out the President's foreign policies through the State's Department and Foreign Services of the United States. What does this have anything to do with foreign policy this is when people say that like cancellations are real they're censoring and then you hear everyone on the left no they're not that's a right wing talking point they're not censoring that's right wings right wing talking point hey just don't say manpower you guys ladies and gentlemen mother father son daughter husband wives these are whatever poop 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 pop, pop, pop. just don't say those words that's not censoring you're like, that's exactly what censoring is. Violating the freedom of speech in an office is just so lame. Could you imagine working for this kind of person? Can you imagine just going into work? You're having a you're having a shitty day. You know, the kids kept you up all night. And you walk in, you see your boss, you see Anthony Blinken, you say, What's up, man? Hey. Don't use that term. God. God. I think like I, people don't make a big deal out of this I think it is a big deal I think this is the main reason why so many of us are having so much anxiety when it comes to co communicating with other people that are different than us because we're so concerned that either we're going to offend them or they're going to freak out on us for absolutely no reason that we have to like fight about it it's like it, if I just say what's up you guys don't freak out on me libtard like it's just it's just too much. It's too much for just a little thing. But you feel like you're on this weird, holy high horse that you need to just break everyone's knees in order for them to submit to you. I think this also stifles like creativity and innovation in some way, you know, because people are, so, are more concerned of getting the language right than actually just being relaxed, calm, cool, collected. None of these statements are like, you are an a-hole, F you, you're a piece of... You're, you know, you're a PDF, like you're like, you're terrible. Like these are just normal f phrases we use. If you're such a, one of these leftists who are just so concerned about changing the language, just make it part of your culture and just say it over and over again. And sometimes people around you start to change their mind, making people submit to these things. It's like, we don't call each other lords and lower, like thou s be thy name and thy like we don't talk like that anymore because people stopped so if you want if you think that you can make the change of that just create that culture for yourself you don't need to make everyone cement this is kind of like the censorship and authoritarianism it's just so silly it's just it gets to the point where it's like okay this is just getting silly you can't say manpower <laughs> you, well, what am i supposed to say woman power husband why like who's that oh that's my husband oh don't say that no 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 <laughs> who's that oh that's my wife uh, we don't we don't use those terms here and therefore it creates this ineffective communication where people that still say these things that aren't reading the leftist bible are confused of how to even talk to people and there's and i'm finding more and more that people are just giving up on talking to other people and that and and that is a huge problem. But I think it's on purpose. 
I think they don't want us talking to each other. I don't think they want us actually solving problems. And so they put these stupid stimulation, like stupid propositions at their current employment in order for people to submit to their will. It's amazing what people are willing to do in order to want to be loved or liked or fit in instead of being different. It's just so silly. It's just so dumb. Like, like it's just when when it gets to it gets to this point where you can't say that's my mother or that's my father. It just what are we doing here? Are we a serious country? Is this what the the foreign affairs is supposed to be doing today? Can we think about Joe Biden's foreign affairs right now and how terrible it is? Anthony Blinken is one of the biggest jokes of all time, and he doesn't get enough credit for being terrible. I mean, look at what's going on in the world. Joe Biden, remember when he first came back? He said, America's back, baby. <laughs> no, you're not, dude, because this is what your staff, your head of <laughs> the head is worried about. Hey, guys, let's not focus on what's going on in the world. China, Taiwan, Iran, Israel, Palestine, uh, Ukraine, Russia. I could keep going on. Uh, what's going on with the Houthis? Whatever. Uh, I want to make sure everyone gets their language right. When we go to these meetings with these very aggressive foreign dictators and people with very a lot of power that could potentially kill other people, make sure we're using the right pronouns here at the State Department. <laughs> at the here at Foreign Affairs, we don't we make you feel good on the inside and the outside. We don't use terms such as manpower. Hey, you guys. We don't use that. Ladies and gentlemen, no chance. F mother, father would never in my lifetime. Birthing people. Those are my birthing people. Son, daughter, no way. I let them tell me who they are. When people ask me, Derek, are you having a boy or a girl? It's none of your business. My kid is going to tell me their gender when they are born. And I don't want no doctor coming up in my business and telling me that you are having a son. No chance. No chance. And we especially here do not use the word husband and wife. We use partners. It's 2024. Wake up, right winger.